Hi everybody. So this is a circuit that I was using in the previous video with uh, this uh, barbecue igniter. I was uh, igniting it. Trigger. Um, I tried this circuit, this setup on my lawnmower. I connected this power plug cable where I am connecting the igniter now and I put the ground wire from here to the uh, mower I took this power plug out and it was firing very nice as I was cranking it with my uh, drill it was constantly firing it was no problem uh, I put in the lawnmower it wasn't really running. I tried to adjust the um, timing by taking off the flywheel and uh, re re uh, positioning it, but didn't really help. I tried a little bit ahead, a little bit behind of the original uh, angle, but it was. Uh, that it was uh, sparking but nothing a little bit it was running but not much uh, I do have some problems with that lawnmower I think that can be the uh, problem so I'm going to fix those mechanical problems and try again and also I'm going to get uh, uh, strobe light, not strobe light, uh, a timing light that you usually use on cars to check the uh, right timing for the spark. Is that way I'm gonna able to tell if it really firing inside or not because it has an inductive clamp and goes on this spark plug cable. In this case, I'm gonna put it on this cable that goes to the top of this power plug and uh, see if I can trigger the timing light that way I would be able to put a mark on the flywheel and put a mark somewhere beside the flywheel and that way I can see if the ignition happens always on the right time if it's any delay I'm gonna able to see it if it's any irre irregularity I'm gonna able to see it okay then I was also thinking about how could we use this circuit on a more than one cylinder engine uh, John Carr uh, 43447 was mentioned that we might need to use a uh, uh, T-Restore to do that. This is how T-Restore looks like in a schematic uh, diagram. It has an anode, a cathode, and a gate terminal. Um, The way it works is you put your load from here and it wants to go that way but it's unable to go until you put some voltage in this uh, gate terminal and that allows this load to keep going. <coughs> so I was thinking if these are the spark plugs that each of them would have to restore like this and we use we would use the distributor I mean the um, high voltage from the distributor that usually would go to the spark plug we would use that for the uh, gate current then I guess what will happen is power will come in and uh, would open the tiris it's uh, that um, tiristor 
so the current will be able to flow on that spark plug it will jump the gap and go ground and it would stop the um, high voltage current to go in reverse and perhaps ignite more than one spark plug at a time or ignite the wrong spark plug perhaps you have this spark plug going bad and the resistance grows on it if you don't have a resistor or some sort of electronic device that stops the high voltage from going around that spark plug and go through another so if you don't have that then you're gonna have a spark over here at the time and you want it over here so that was one idea and the other idea which is probably also works is just a high voltage uh, diodes see if we would have just a high voltage diode on each of these lines and uh, we would feed just power in from the distributor like this so the high voltage would go this way the diode would stop it going backward so it would just go down it would jump the gap and it would trigger the um, capacitor to fire through the gap it's similar that the three stores would do very similar as a matter of fact I think this diode with this gap is pretty much works the same way as a as a thyristor. Um, I am not uh, an electrical engineer. I don't know what we need to looking for when you pick these diodes. So, if anyone has experience with that and able to do that, please let us know. And also, if the thyristor works better, let us know either way. Uh, this is it for now. I'm going to fix my more soon and uh, try again. I'm not sure if it's gonna work nice with gasoline. First I wanna try with gasoline then go to water. But um, as I was showing it to the other video, the spark plug when I was trying to fire it, it wasn't so consistent with uh, gasoline than uh, as with water. So, let's see what happens. Uh, have a nice day. Bye.